I'm Dane, and no one said I'm an international playboy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Patrick, and I'm assistant to the international playboy. We were flying, we had, it was our first time in Australia, we were probably 18, and we flew into Sydney, but we were flying up to Goldie to surf. We came in. And we just our whole goal was to party. Just yeah. like to pull checks and just like go nuts. Like, this goes huge. We heard it was just here. gonna be insane, you know, the like Gold Coast is just like, just freakish. It's like one step down from Vegas or something. Yeah. We ended up meeting up our friends at the bus stop and we got like a case of Victoria Bitters. You remember yeah. that? There was like all these Brazilian chicks on the bus. We were drinking with these yeah. Brazilian chicks. We were just like, yes, I love Australia. <laughs> First yeah, time so. here. We're 18, we're yeah. just like, this is freaking the sickest. We split 24 beers, so we had like, you know, 10 or 12 each, kind of hand a couple pee, like, shells a out. Horse. Just <laughs> pissing all over the place, not on the bus, but when we get off. We're just frothing, we're like, it's on, okay, sick. We show up, we go to this place called the PA Bar, which is the Prince Albert, which I assume, I think it's a studded cock. We're psyching, we're drinking, we're like going ballistic. It's like all the way till like two o'clock. We come out and we're like, the bus is all stopped going back that way. So we're like, all right, well, then what are we gonna do? Like, there's you, me, South African dude, a couple, yeah, a couple of the kids that are on the Aussie circuit, and they're like, Mike, we'll just do a cab run, yeah, and, man, and I'm it. like, I fucking never heard of a cab run, what? Yeah. And they're like, no, we just get out of the cab and run. So we all hop in the car, we like load up this van, the kids text on his phone, one of the guys, and he's like, okay, when I say like, get fucked, you can't, we're out of here, and we're like, oh yeah, okay, that makes sense, like whatever. So he's like, get out, and everyone's kind of like getting out of the car, and we're like kind of stumbling out and going slow, and the last guy's like counting the two bucks there, and he like throws it at the guy. Let's get fancy cut. And so then we're like, oh, it's on. And we just start taking off running. So me and like, and as I'm running, I hear the guy like peel out and he skips over the center divider. He's coming to get us. Kind of looking, I'm like, guys, oh, getting closer. And I just go to step into the street, like off the curb. And the guy turns up and like rams up the curb and just goes boom. And I just went boom. And I hit the like, just went sliding across the asphalt on my side. like. Completely knocked out. I was bad. He slid like 50 feet. <laughs> <laughs> it was so right. I was like, whoa, that was heavy. It was a, I was sitting on the other side of the curb, just going, oh my god, like I think Patrick just died. And I like come to, I'm like, oh my god. And I like look at my hands, my hands are just scorched blood, like elbows gone, like pretty much the whole side of me is just mangled with blood. I think we ran out, got him, pulled him, like dragged him like off the curb and into like his bushes. Yeah. And we're like hiding out in the bushes all like- And just, he's just like, where are you guys? I wanna kill you! I want my money! We hid like in the rocks at Greenmount, like waist deep in water. He was like just doing the same thing, laps just and yelling at us. <laughs> we lost our Aussie buddies, I don't even know where they went. And yeah. Patrick the next morning we wake up and it's like, fuck, we gotta walk back now to our apartment. And it was like probably around 12 o'clock in the, in the midday and yeah. it was just perfect three feet offshores and like, ruler edge right hand barrels all the way down the point there was like families on the beach already and we were just walking down the beach like completely <laughs> shredded Twisted. Patrick's like limping like out. a caveman just like yeah. like parents are like grabbing their kids like don't look at those <laughs> guys and it was our first time ever seeing snapper and we we're like this is like, the best wave ever was it. and then I guess the kicker on the story is that we were it was like four nights later we saw the guy pull up you ever seen that guy and he pulled up and he, it was, we only could tell because the van, the whole front of the van was crushed in. There's a full body imprintation on the thing, like windshield shattered, everything was just crushed in. Sipped our beers and we have not done one since. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah, so. We probably got a little lucky. <laughs>